And what up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing a peasant cube. This is the Amaz peasant cube. Peasant is different from pauper in that it has uncommons. Oh, and look, Amaz is literally at the top of the standings of his own cube. That's how fitting. Thank you. That's the same Hearthstone dude, right? That's the same Hearthstone dude. Haji boy with five gifted subs, man. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm also glad you didn't fart on the cat. Why would I do that? I, I was Thank talking you. to Hodge Galosh, Michael. Oh. Not everything's about you, Michael. I thought it was. <sighs> Unbelievable. Super Fritz, what decks can you even send me now? Thank now the Fires is banned. None. <laughs> it's just none. He's done with standard until yeah. something new comes out that does something similar. <clears throat> They're going to be all Wilderness Reclamation decks. Thank you. Mike, do you remember to turn on the fan? Of course. Wow, this went to eight real quick. Or it went to seven real quick, and then it just sat there. Oh, 100 bits? Trifling. Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, what up, Badger? Odysseus with the gifted subs, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Badger, how you doing this uh, beautiful Thursday? In Australia, it's Thursday. But in America, it is Wednesday, <laughs> my dude. Thank you. It's true. I will never send you a little distract. Wow, all right. Hey, take it easy. Take Thank it easy. You. Oh, yeah, look at this. I like these cards. Oh, yeah, Mystic Snake. That's a good one. Thank you. <coughs> I wonder how many counter spells are in this cube, though, Ian. One. You're looking at it. If it were me. Let I'll me hear. What's, what, would, what would you do if it were I'll you? I'll take Esther Charm because I really like that card. You want to go three colors? Nah, that's probably not good. God. It's probably not good. I'm pushing it with two. But what this about is... Vengeable Rebirth? That card's good. Vengeable? Vengeable Rebirth. Vengeable re Vegetable Rebirth? Mm hmm. Badger, I think in 2020, man, I think not being exciting is totally fine. It's the best I you will, can get. I will take fucking boring days any day of the week. Shut up and take my money. Oh, a whatever Mike said yesterday, Merc, what's it, or whatever, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What are we taking here, guys? Someone give me an idea here. I think the actual back best pick might actually be like Kitchen Things. What? Or Mindstone. Mindstone might be the pick here. Cruise? Oh, man. I don't even like Treasure Cruise. There ain't no Cruise. fetch lands in this set, right? You got probably Evolving Wilds. What are you doing here, man? You just playing a game? It's playing it for I'm me. I'm taking the card I want. I don't man. actually play this game anymore. I just let it play itself. Badger, this one's for you, buddy. It's also probably the right pick. Well, I like this guy a lot. Thank you. But I'm going to take That'll this come guy. Back. You're fine. <laughs> Oh, C Theria, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, is there a hype train going right now? Is there a hype train? People all over the world. Hype train. Little hype train. Got enlisted worm, but I don't you don't want that when you got counter spells, so I'm just gonna take sabotage. Counter it up. People Good tell you all it's sabotage. Also blue green duders is good in every format, right? Obviously. Thank you. Whoa. That's 20 whole subs. Oh, my God. Badger, Thank you're getting you. so close, dude. You're How many do you have now? Uh, 752. Oh, my God. That's insane. <laughs> it's subs. Thank oh, you. dear Lord. At one point, will Badger run out of people to give subs to? Like, it just Thank gives you. it to people that aren't even anything to do with this channel? Or is that already happening? I don't actually know how good those work. It's a growth chamber. Like, what did you say? He's given so many subs. Like, at some point, he's got to be given to people Thank that aren't in your viewership, right? They're not. Yeah, they, it happens. They just pulls from the community randomly at that okay. point. I didn't know. Because he's like way Thank over. You. Badger, dude, you are ridiculous. I'll start gifting subs to the bots. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Hmm. Chamber's okay, I guess. Thank you. Chamber's great, man. It's all right. You like Croesus's Croesus's charm? Not on this deck. Croesus's. Thank you. I think we take Michael Nolan. Tribe Elder or Michael Nolan asks Explory. You. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give my Thank give my opinion. Anyway. Are you even Are you even talking right now? Have I ever spoken? Have I ever spoken? <laughs> Thank oh you. Lord. 
Yeah, I think I like Tribe Elder here better. I just want the land to go into play. Oh, look, here's another elder. So many elders. Thank you. Oh my god, there's so many subs. Badger, dude, you're awesome. Take that, boy. This? Yeah, splash for it. Thank you. I ain't splashing for that. But you draw a card and gain your life. This draws us a card, too. You don't want this? This draws us three cards. That card's Thank trash, you. though. Oh, wow. The one card that draws you one card is trash. The card that's cheaper and draws you three cards, that's that's trash. Yeah, but it just gets you lands, and you have to Thank stack you. it, and you have to play it, and it's all this stuff. Sub is a sub is a sailor. Affinity, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome Thank back. Haj Gulashi, gift and a sub to Howard Johnson. Thank you so much, buddy. You guys are awesome. Man, this is just a gifted sub. This is a gifted sub Thank stream. You. Sub is a mm, sub. 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 I'm, I'm just going to play, play it, yeah. Wow, you're really... Thank is it lower on... No, every sub, sub is the same. A sub is a sub, sub is a sub, sub on Twitch. Sub is a sub is a sub is a sub. A sub is a sub is a sailor. <laughs> what about oh, Troll? God, I knew where you were going with that. Thank Hold you. on, right. Can I have a force spike? I feel like a 4-3 regenerate might just be too good. I agree, actually. Especially uh, regenerate for one green. Thank sub you. Sub is a sub is a sailor. What about tier three subs? I don't even know what that means. Thank you. Fast Jewish middle bops. Tier three subs are super uncommon. For obvious reasons. Thank you. Oh, gifting a sub to Burger King. Oh, see, Hodge Galosh is just gifting subs to major corporations right now. That's good. Yeah, oh. that's like one of your favorite ma ma major corporations. What did you just say? Not nothing. I didn't even speak, man. You must be going blind. What did you just say? I'll see, like I said, you must be going blind instead of deaf. I, I don't have any idea what you just <laughs> said. That card's okay. What? Not for this deck, but... It's either play a mirror or invigorate, right? Mirror doesn't do anything. Relic's I mean, alright. I think it might be invigorate. I don't know how good Relic is in this cube, though, so... Right. Oh, look, your Esper Charm came back. You dumb turd. Men for you, bro? What? No, I'm not splashing. I'm, I'm blue-green right now. What does that card do? It's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with mm. Vigilance and Trample. If you kick it, it's a 5-5 five, five for 5 with Vigilance and Trample. Oh, that seems decent. I know, Michael. That's why I took it. I'll take Rot Farm. Um, Thank you. No, I know you said you weren't splashing, but hear me out. Oh, never mind. I ain't hear you. See, I'm not hearing you out. <laughs> I was going to suggest the 8-mana double white, double I bet black you card. were. Oh, Hodge Lodge gives it a sub to Gravy. <laughs> oh, we can cast that off our rot farm. Oh, look, we just ended up Sultai. Look at that. Sub is, sub is Mac B. I'm having trouble keeping Oh, and Burger King. Hodge Lodge gives it a sub to Burger King as well. <laughs> we, we had a whole talk about that. Burger King? Yeah. It was like three minutes ago we talked about it. There was a lot going on. <laughs> world is a scary place that's true I'll give you that that better be brown gravy this guy's gravy elitist what you're a gravy elitist oh yeah choo choos <laughs> oh jungle hollow now we're just making now we're just making it easy for us sub is a sub is a sailor It's true. Man, I love Burger King. I love French fries. Oh, that's actually really good. Jeez, that card's great. If it's uh, land, you get to draw it or put it into play? Put it in your hand. Okay. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Morkwike. This late night stream brought to you in part by Work Mike Incorporated. <laughs> good old Morkwike. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are my favorite. A sub is a sub is a Mac B. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. Crosan Tuscarino. Hey, look, it's like almost a cryptic command. What? Where? Sleep. No, it's not. It's not even close to a cryptic command. I said almost, as in it's not very good, but it kind of does one of the modes, sort of. Almost means close. 
Oh, it's just one mode. If I'm if I say if I say to you, hey Michael, I'm almost at your house right now. How far do you think I were? I was at least a third. Y you think I'm a third towards Thank it? You. At least it could be more. Badger like sleep. I don't even think I like sleep that much. Austin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Our sub baby has your special eyes. Look with your special eyes. I'll just take Tusker. My brand. You take Tusker? Yeah. Sleep will table anyway. Sleep will probably will table. I kind of like murderous cut, though. For the splashy. It is real good. Maybe it's worth. Oh, Kazmina. I actually like Kazmina a lot. Yeah, that seems good. Two loots and two two twos. Two two. What? I said two two. Two two. Because it's two two twos. Two 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 two. Are you fucking having a stroke? Maybe. Good lord, dude. Look, man. All I know is a sub 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 is a sailor. What do you mean? Who knows, man? I well, I figured you might. Fat chance. Okay. Okay, Michael. Michael is Exile's two permanents in control. Why don't you just put an eye two on it? Because that's not a mechanic in that set, Franklin. I like... I, actually, Tatiola seems great here. Yeah, it seems very good. Or we can take Bane of Balagad and hope that the Tatiova tables. Bane of Balagad is pretty strong. I mean, it's yeah, it's a 7-5 seven, for 7. Seven's not too expensive either. Yeah, that card is pretty hard to beat if you don't kill it. Oh, that's a question. I don't think Tatiova table, though. Really? I don't think, I don't think anyone else is in blue-green. All right. We'll risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, but people could be in colorless, you know? By that, do you mean, like, anyone can take that card because it's a seven-mana colorless that's insane? Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I do think the odds of her tabling are slightly better than that tabling, so. I think a sub is a sub is a sailor. <laughs> oh, what up, Kerwit? It's your boy. Oh, I like a murder of crows a lot. Solid. Oh, this card is fucking disgusting, right? Like, this card literally single-handedly ruined Amonkhet Limited. That's true, actually. You should probably take it. 6-7 Hexproof? Like, why is this in... I don't think it should even be in here, man. Well, we're not sure how powerful this cube is yet, right? We haven't played it yet. It's not, it's not more powerful than the 6-7 Hexproof, Michael. I guess we'll see. No, Katie went to sleep at, like, 9. She had an exhausting day. She worked for, like... She went at, like, 7. Worked until... She probably worked, like, 12 hours. And then she went home and worked more. She had to finish records and prepping uh, prepping people for the next day. And she still got a pack. Man, so much stuff. Vraska. Whenever creature you control, it didn't attach just much, but won't count on that creature. How many seven drops do you want? Seven drops? Are you like in Jester? Yeah, he's decent. I mean, Jester's actually pretty good. We need more rampy boys. It just gets rid of. I mean, we got Dre We got we got oh like search like search. Yeah, fly? snap that off. What about River Hoopoo? Hoopoo Hoopoo Hoopoo. No. Hoopoo. Although I love the art on that card. It's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. We should, we should have birds. Well, the only problem with birds is sometimes they can be really noisy. My only problem with birds is ceiling fans. Oh, that too. Yeah, that's rough. Because you don't always live in a cage, right? No, living in Florida, I hated that I couldn't have birds because of ceiling fans. I was like, I'd get a bird. Did you say you put a bird on it? And they would go... <laughs> what does Ugin's whatever do? That color is This dies being an XX where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. 3, 4, for 4. Seems okay. This is just an XX for X. If damage would be dealt on it, prevent that damage from that many counters. So if it takes 5, it actually becomes... It's, if you make it a 6-6, six, six, and you, you take block research? a 5-5, five, five, it just takes... <sighs> research is good. I mean, it's good enough to be in other cubes, right? Seems strong enough for this. Yeah, sub is a sub is a sailor, you know? It's true. <laughs> sub is a sub. Migration? It's good on two, good on six. Nothing really else here that I care about. You consider the one drop, it's kind of okay. It's not great, but it's not okay. Nothing about it is okay. 
Not like my goal. I would take Loxon Warhammer. This card actually is pretty bonkers. And ooh, Soul Titan. Actually, un Undercity Troll might be better. No, actually, Soul Titan. I forget what good. Renown does. Uh, if you attacked, if a creature dealt damage, when this creature deals damage, you you Renown it, so it gets a plus one plus one counter. Okay, so that's the hit to get it to get legit. It's got it. <laughs> that was better than what anything I would have said. Yeah. Yeah, you might play Soul Titan. Telling time or regrowth? Probably telling time. Really? Regrowth seems pretty powerful in this format. Really? Just getting back your bomb. Really? I mean, digging into things you might need seems even better than, I don't know. It's close. They're both kind of card advantage. Oh, Thraven Gargoyle, boy. Well, I guess technically the other one's not card advantage, but you know what I mean. No, it's just resource a... advantage or whatever you want. Well, neither of them are card advantage. They're both. They're just cantrips. A Mike is a Mike is a Michael. I'd like to pick up some more rampy boys. Okay, I get it, man. You like ramp, okay? God. Oh, yeah, River Ho Poo? Poo Poo? River Poo Poo? Give me that River Poo Poo. Oh, we got a Putrefy too in the River Poo Poo. Oh, that guy? Oh, that guy came back. I kind of nice. like that guy. Yeah, I mean, he's two bodies for one, right? Two, two bodies for one. In a late game, he won't be insane. That's the deal. Near the Royal, Harmonize. Wish this was a different Ronto Don. I don't know if. Artifacts and enchantments are going to be relevant enough in this format. I don't know either. Savage Lands could just be fine. Black green. Mm, comes into play tap, though. Mm. Oh, they're all going to come into play tap. They're uncommon lands. Uh, that's a fair point. <laughs> whether it's whether it's Jungle Hollows or these. Maybe it's just Harmonize. Really? Can we support the Mystic? Do we have enough thingies for that? No. We have like okay. three. Just Telling check. Time, Compulsive... Sabotage. I don't really care about Invigorate right now. Instant or Sorcery? Yeah, that's not enough. Okay. It might be. Actually, we're getting there. Hold on. Six? Seven? I'd rather just take Into the Royal. Really? It's a really good versatile card. I kind of like the fixing here. All right. Fixing's fine. Yeah, I just want to make sure our mana base is good. Oh, look. Cloud Blazer. That card's I see me blazing. Freaking great. The clouds. I'm smoking up that motherfucking cloud. You're smoking up the cloud? Yeah. This so pack's kind of trash for us. Oh, wait. What, what about Freebooter? I don't want a black card on turn two, though. Well, yeah, fair. Is there a middle class cube with all the uncommons? Yeah, this is the middle class cube. It's, it's commons and uncommons. I think we're just taking Wicker Ba. Wicker, wicker Ba. I want to take the Wicker Ba. Yeah, alright. Dang it, stop giving me shitty red signets. Hey, oh, Bituminous Blast, huh? This guy's it's probably fine. that guy, right? Yeah, this guy's it's Ramp, fine. and then it's Big Boy. It's Ramp, and then it's Big Boy. First is Ramp. Oh, man, I wish Armadillo Cloak was a different color. Big Boy. What about Volition Reigns, man? I mean, still in a permanent, it's pretty powerful. It's basically Agent triple of Triple blue, though. Eh, it's probably fine, right? Well, I'd give a heck about it's also triple blues. also six mana, so it's probably okay. They seem oh, it oh, falls. falls. This guy just gained five? Okay. Oh, I do like Coiling Oracle and Blossoming Defense, too. Dang, I'm going to take Thornwood Falls. Hopefully that Coiling Oracle comes back. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, uh, Vivi Creek. What about Roshin Meanderer? No. Oh. Thank you. We like have zero. What Demir signet? That's probably good enough. Hardest of core. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mike B, I ordered another meme shirt for you. This one will actually be visible on stream. <laughs> oh, Super Fred's actually, don't send it yet because we're moving really soon. Uh, you should probably send it after we move. Well, you can also just have them send it, and then you can change your address so that it forwards all your mail to the new place. Well, yeah, I'm going to do that, obviously. Right, so then wouldn't it just go to the new place? Right, but I don't. I won't fill that out for a little while, though. Why? Can you, like, put a date for when to... Start? Yes, they don't expect you to do it on the exact day you're you're doing it. Oh. Have you not done this? Didn't you do I have this done it, here? but only, I've done it once. But it's been a, only once. You can do it online, too, right? You don't have to, like, get a forum. How did you do it? I got a forum. From the post office? Yeah. I'm sure you can do it online. It'd be ridiculous if you couldn't. Of course you can. That's how I've done it every single time. I didn't even know you could not do it online. You just go to change of address, and then they forward all your mail to the new address. That's wild, man. Hmm. 
Oh, I think the reason why I did it because my parents happen to have one lying around, and I, online I think it charges you a little bit. A dollar oh five is what it charges you. Yeah, but if you do it through the mail, it's free. Yeah, and then you got to write it out, and don't you drive? Don't you have to drive to the post well, office? No, you just put it in the mailbox, and it goes out like normal mail. Guys, I don't, I don't have any words. Knock if you save that buck, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think you did. Are you moving for the 17th? Uh, yes. We are moving next Friday. None of these cards are exciting. Well, in that case, go ahead and ship it, Super Fritz. I'll do it on the internet. But also, how did you not know that it doesn't, that you don't have to do it on the exact day? Because, like, you obviously didn't fill out the form of the day you moved and put it in the mail that day. That's true. Otherwise, you wouldn't get your, like, the next, because it wouldn't get to the post office. Like, the next day, you're still going to get mail. And the next day, you're probably still going to get mail. There's no reason, Frank. Yes. It's because I'm stupid. Okay. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mike, did you get the job? My interview is on Friday. My final interview is this Friday. Take hooting mandrels for the memes. Or I could just take this card that's very good. Oh, that is pretty good. All you guys turn into clues. Oh, we oh, did Oh, wow. Boys. That's real good. And the other card table, too. Uh, I mean, grapple's fine, but now we need two cuts? God dang. Can you stream the interview? Um, Don't think that's a good idea. Why not? No one's going to know. You just put on mute. I mean, they can't hear you streaming it when you're on Zoom. I don't know, man. It seems weird. Why? Are your new potential employers willing to work around your schedule being the conductor of the rat train? <laughs> wow. I sure hope so, Michael. I sure hope so. I conduct virtually now. What? Well, that doesn't seem safe at all. Well, there's a there's a backup pilot just in case. You think a, you think someone who conducts a train is called a pilot? No. You think there's pilots conducting, driving? They're called the conductor, Frank. <laughs> that train has a backup pilot. <laughs> oh Jesus! I'll take mysteries out. What kind of job is it? Uh, it's just customer service for credit unions. All right, this deck looks pretty good. They see me rolling. Hey, man, I got a question five, for six, you. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five. What? Five, six, seven. <clears throat> so this lady called me about a job today, a different job. Not the 24 one or the other one on Friday. And they had me, I had to do like some extra stuff online for them. I'm like, yeah, I'll get it done. And she's like, okay, get it done and then we'll, we'll follow up. But she mentioned that. She asked what I was making, and I told her, like, oh, I'm only making 1150 right now. Don't ever. Why would you ever say that? Well, no, I said I, said I was making just shy of 12. That's what okay, I said exactly. right, but, okay, go on. And she mentioned that, well, we only start at 13 anyway. So I'm like, I was wondering if it's even worth going through the motion for that. Is it a job in Denver? It's a remote position. No, that's not. That's probably not worth my time, right? Yeah, I also would. I also like I did the math, and technically I could live off that, but it would be not great. I also would not say the exact amount you're making either. No, I normally don't, but she wasn't like the interview person. She was just like informing me I had to do something. Like she's not the person who actually decides the salary. Whatever, Michael. I have a lot of friends in the cannabis sector in Denver if you need a job or intro, Michael. Wow. Wow. Well, I assume that's like a, a real job though, right? Yeah, you can work at an Apple store. What? All the all the weed dispensaries look like Apple stores. It was oh, broke. I didn't know that. Seriously?
Yeah, next time tell them what you need to be comfortable instead of what you're making. Yeah, that's I I never I whenever someone asks me what I'm making, I never uh say less than what I what I'd want to make from them. There's just no benefit to it whatsoever. I usually don't. It was just kind of one of those things where it was like in the moment and I knew she wasn't the person who actually decided that kind of thing, so it doesn't matter. Oh, River Poopy. Little River Poopy. Mike, will you start smoking weed in Denver? No, definitely not. There's a medical reason I cannot. So no weed for the mutual. Mm hmm. Oh, which one goes to the top three? Put one of those on your hand. Put the cut. One on top. Put the cut on top of your library. All right. Play this guy. Lots of corporate jobs in the sector. I mean, if you're serious and you can help me find a job, I mean, I would be glad to hear the offer. You would be glad. Mike, have you considered becoming weed when you moved to Denver? Hmm. Fuck, that's a good idea, too. This guy's most assuredly dead, but what are you going to do? So he's got a 1-1, one, one, right? Because, like, it dies, it sees itself. Right, yeah. Dying is, like, part of the resolution, I think. Dying is part of... That's what I say about life. Uh, that probably loses three unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. Sure, I'll just take three. I'll lose three. Oh, a Sinister Sabby. Oh, maybe that. One, two, three, four. Well, let's get Kudgelin. Kudgelin. You heard me. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Our opponent has nothing and we got three bodies. Mike B's farm to pipe weed drunk. <laughs> and they're dead. Okay. That's how you can tell you're doing pretty good because your opponent uh, loses the game and just concedes. The only problem with the cannabis industry is the payroll is an issue. Like you don't get paid. That would not be okay. My favorite weed is a dandelion. Dandelion is a beautiful flower. You take that back. Because of the cash. Oh, because so many... It's all done in cash mostly, so it's like you gotta process it and it takes longer. Guess, Under the table... One mutual joint buck. Wow. Wow. Hmm. This seems like a keep. A little slow, but. Thank you. Kind of spell. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, this is a little slow. Oh, Kerbal with the gifted sub. <laughs> really appreciate it, my dude. I hate being on the draw with the... Yeah, it makes you discard a card. Maybe we'll draw a force, though. What'll that do? Oh, that's better. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. I just crossed 100k in channel points. Congrats, Cruet. You can turn them in for one Frank Lepore bunk. Buck. Bonk? Bonk. I like to give him a good bonk. I go to the bonk of Frank. That's where I do all my business. Dang it. Um, well. Well, shit. I guess we're just keeping sabotage up here. And next turn we can growth chambario. You can get a job at a dispensary. They're always looking for non-smokers to work there. My friend in Ogden says that one that drug test have a really hard time finding people. I guess they start out at like 16 an hour. Well, most of the jobs I'm applying for are 16 or more an hour. So, Wow, get a load of this guy. Except for that one that didn't say, and now they say 13. So, Except for that one back in Vietnam. They were only paying me 15 schnickels a biscuit. And then I'm also I really looking to try to find some remote work if possible. 
because uh, it's way better than going in office. Most, I feel like almost every office job doesn't actually need to be in the office. It's really stupid. I agree with you. Especially after actually, actually having the experience. I'm just like, yeah, that's stupid. They know what's happening. Whatever they play here. Yeah, 16 is about what I need to make to be in a comfortable position where I can save money, pay for all my bills, and have fun and money and food money. Fun and money. I don't think I care about this. I don't even know what it does. Yeah, well, one day you will. No. Yeah, the place I'm interviewing on Friday, they do work from home, but apparently you have to be there for like five or six months before you're eligible, which is really silly considering coronavirus, but I'm not going to turn it down, obviously. So one, two, three, four, five, six man on this turn. Seven if we use three of it for this. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if it's a forest on top, it's pretty baller, but... So they're currently having people come into work? Yeah. Apparently their staff was reduced to, like, 80 or 90% work from home. But because things have been a little lax, they're trying to go back to 50% over the next couple transitioning weeks. Which, again, seems really silly, all things considered, but... I can't really afford to not have a job, so... And the job I currently have does not pay enough for Denver. What if it did? That would be great, and I would not need a new job. But what if, Michael? Again, that would be great. I am tempted to ask them, like, when I put on my two weeks, if they'll potentially give me a raise and see what they say. I doubt they'll give me a big enough raise, though. They'd have to give me, like, $4 more an hour. I seriously doubt they're going to do that, so... That's kind of a big raise. Big rays coming through. You never know, though, I guess. Sometimes you know. Do you wear a mask when you are there? Yeah, masks are required in Colorado if you're out. Required. Well, so would anyway. He would anyway. Let's play this I've guy. only had Red Bull, and Red, Bill, Red Bull and chocolate milk today. Wow. Amazing Ooh, diet. could you? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. That's old could you. What do you do for work? I currently am a uh, billing specialist, so I fix problems with bills for a company called Conservice. He's a problem solver. They're a big utility company. Well, they're not technically a utility mm -hmm. company. They work with utility companies. They're like a middleman for bills. They're currently causing us slight annoying problems at our new house. Yeah, it's all fun and games work for Conservice until they charge you $8 a month to use their service. Plus an activation fee. <laughs> Forty dollars, like what a fucking racket, dude. Bro, that's not even. I've seen activation fees that are a hundred dollars while working there. What? What is it based on? I think it just has to do with the. I mean, it's obviously state and local vary, but. Mike, would you sleep with your boss to get a promotion? Don't think so. What if your boss was like Scarlett Johansson? Then that changes the answer Is very that, drastically. Would that would that make that person attractive enough to I mean it's still sexual harassment, don't get me wrong. Even if it was literally only sleeping? Hmm. What if you were just napping? Oh, I'd do that. <laughs> yeah, I'd nap. Also to be fair, when I worked in Florida, my manager I would have definitely slept with hundred percent, not close. He was very attractive.
What if the promotion came with a $10 an hour raise? Oof, that is a big bump. If Mike B's boss was Scarlett Johansson, Mike would do a pro bono. <laughs> that's Yeah, that's true. Mike would take a demotion. I'll make a dollar less. It's fine. Wow. Well, I guess this is what we got to do here. Because him to Torok is not really what I want to... Yep, and then they counter back. Cool. So long, Volition Range Cudgel Troll. Okay. There's a place in Tokyo where you can pay to nap next to a girl. That does not surprise me, Kerwit. <laughs> That's very strange. That's very Japanese. Hold on one second. Is that you? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Kudgy. And Greeny. And Jungi. And get him. How much you charge for someone to light next to you? I, I, it's not on my, it's not on my OnlyFans page yet, unfortunately. <laughs> Actually, you can hire professional colors. Look it up. Maybe you can. I think anyone can for the right price. Hey, buddy. Maybe you can. Can you mute that? Of the vibration? <laughs> yeah, it's just non-stop. Sorry, the poker guys are you know, chatty. It can't be regenerated. Wow, well, regenerate's a real good ability when you put a bunch of removal in the cube that can't really. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why am I going to my settings? I'm going to literally just silence it. Well, because you're an idiot. That's why. Oh. Got him. Thank you for your Facebook comments, Zephyr Blaze. I appreciate it, buddy. <coughs> Hiring in this economy? Yeah, the um, I applied for a bunch of places, and I've only heard back from a couple. It definitely seems like places are less willing to hire right now. Do this now so if it's a land we don't have to draw it because if we draw the land uh, pre press ok to continue sure one two three four five six seven there's one two three four five six seven i wonder what would happen if you hired a hooker and we're like we're playing nintendo that's all i i would assume they would probably do that You know what? I think it's more likely that. I need black mana. Dang it! <sighs> I think the stream needs more. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool. I think the stream needs more dinosaur fossil donations. That would be fire. Wow. I mean, you guys are welcome to give them. <coughs> nope, don't have one, so I guess you get to keep your guy. Fucking force spike. Incredible. Yep. Getting God is the worst. Yep. Mm. 
Mike B., have you ever considered becoming a male prostitute or working at McDonald's? I've not considered either of those, to be honest with you. Well, you're a loss. Is it really? What do you know it is? Mike, if you had a son, what would you name him? Jeez, I don't know. Charlie Chippendale? Yeah, Charlie Chippendale. Charlie Chippendale Chocolate Cheddar Cheese Champion Bartholomew. That's way too long. You really just ruined your son's life. I'll give him a nickname. <laughs> Ain't nobody giving your son a nickname. They're going to hate him too much. You are a nug expert. McDonald's could use your knowledge. I don't know if I'm a nug expert. I think I'm just a dude who enjoys eating nuggets. I don't know if I'd consider it an expert. How long do you think it takes to become a nug expert? Probably years. A nug spurt, if you will. RPG Badger was his name, Deuce Bigelow. You're just playing this guy? Interesting. <laughs> sure, dude. Apparently, there are a lot of counter spells in this cube. How strange. Michael is strange when you're a stranger. Michael looks ugly when you're alone. That's what we wanted. Oh, a little Yavamaya. <coughs> well, that's not going to work. One, two, three. Nope. It's a limit. When you're down, when you're strange, Michael comes out of the rain. Oh, just jumping with the merfolk leader, huh? The desperation is so real. Bringing work home. Oh, man. Not when you got roommates, buddy. Yikes. Yep, these birds are a heck of a clock right now. Oh, McDonald's man. nugs dipped in honey is where it's at, you know? I gotta disagree. I was not a big fan of the honey dip. Honey dip? Scoop. Yep. Island and forest. Another land, okay. Sure. Okay. Three fucking lands in a row. That's beautiful. So we're dead. Cool. Hmm. Bring in the Wickabile. The, they got a couple of enchantments that I'd like to kill. Anybody got uh, anybody got reach here? I'm looking for a little. Actually, Locks on Warhammer seems freaking great. Oh, that wasn't in the main? No. What, are you crazy? I don't know. That card's nuts. Okay, take it easy, Michael. You have 15 creatures. No, I got 14 now. What, what, what? Why would you cut the one drop? Well, because we only have four <laughs> forests that come into play untapped. Oh, fair enough. Oh, okay. Good thing you see my point. Dumb son of a bitch. I'm taking Jester out. Mike, what do you miss more, Carabas or your mom's Caesar salad? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Jimmy the Mole, can you start the streams like Troy McClure? Hi, I'm Frank Lepore. You remember from such such podcasts as Freshly Brewed or video columns as Magic Modern Monday. <laughs> Did you answer the question, Michael? I gotta go with Carabas. As much as I love my mom's Caesar salad. Got her. Because, you know, you're here, Michael. It's Hates really good. Mark. It's my favorite thing, but you could, I mean, it's only one thing, right? A crowd is with multiple options. Menu, yeah. How's the Carabas Caesar salad? was pretty decent, too. So. Hey, man, how soon do you want to go to Carabas once we get to Denver? Fucking immediately. 
Like when we get out of the truck, we just walk inside. <laughs> we could definitely get it. Yeah, we can definitely get it to go that night. We should. But Carabas is a chain. That's true, but I don't know. What I that. don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I don't give up. Well, the it. food's really good and it's really tasty and I love it, but it's a chain, so I, I just don't go. Hey, man, don't forget that when you get it to go. Give me seven loaves of bread, beach. Why would I go? Why am I going by myself to get it to go? Well, you wouldn't be going by yourself, but I just. Is that where we're going for dinner? Carver, we could. Um, I think Katie's got to work that night. So oh, man. I think she's going to be gone from like 7 p.m. to like 7 a.m. <laughs> Dang. McDonald's Big Mac sauce is a kind of drinking the juices from the bottom. No, it ain't. It's actually oh, fantastic. Big Mac sauce is great. You You're crazy. out of your mind. It's like the best thing they have there. Man, Arctic's really, Arctic's really messing with you, buddy. I'll take four fried chickens and a Coke. Red Robin's pretty good. Oh, is it four fat chickens? Fuck, I gotta do it before Affinity gets to it. Yes. Got him. Looks like this town ain't big enough for Frank Lepore and Affinity. No, it's definitely big enough. We need Affinity, Michael. I just wanted to say that. Well. Four fat chickens. Catch it and see. My name is Michael. Michael B. That was good, man. Man, the time delay had me beat. Got him. You have an unfair advantage. You know what? I should. I'm cheating at the Olympics, man. What? What? God, I don't know what to go. I think it's... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. That's a tough choice. Oh, the double for the counter spell or the black for the murderous cut and the salt touch room? I don't know, man. I think it's black and I think we just hope to draw... We have way less chance of hitting black, right? Than you yeah, do we have way less chance of hitting any land because that's, that's how we do. Best thing to do is get the double cheeseburger and then have them add Big Mac special sauce. Yes, that is a good a good value. But then you know, like special sauce with ketchup and mayo and it's still good, dude. That seems weird. Also, if you don't like that, you just tell them no ketchup, no mayo. Add Big Mac sauce. Well, let's see if you got it. Hot blooded. Whatever happened to the shaving of Mike B's head? We're still gonna do it, but. I never hit the... Mike, please spontaneously sing that Spiders and Big Macs. <laughs> Michael, do it. Got spiders. They're real big. They're the king of the jig. They always eat their Big Macs. They're king of when the jig? When they're full of many big... When they're full of many adventures. Big? Wow, fucking days into... Jesus Christ. How many, like, pay one counter spells are going to happen? Thank you. I'm still going to shave my head. We're just uh, putting that on hold for now. Also, I've only hit 85 towards it, so. Mike, have you studied improv? No, I have not. No formal improv training. I think they knew that. I think they were just joking. I see a question I answer, Frank. I'm a simple man. I know. I know. Well, this is basically Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> Just did a commander game over Zoom. Might have won my way out of the playgroup. Thank oh, you. too good. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Envious MTG, thank you so much for the for the resub, my thank dude. You. Oh, two gifted subs for Mike's lovely song. It was terrible. It wasn't my greatest work, you know. I was on the spot. Would you say it was your worst work? Mike B, you should get your Bachelor's of Sandwich Arts degree. Wow. I bet Super Fritz can teach you. Really? You're going to remand my signet? You know, I'm not 100%. I don't think Subway pays 16 an hour. Maybe you don't. No, you're right. I don't have employees, Frank. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, In-N-Out pays thirteen fifty, so. 
Big Mac sauce or Chick-fil-A sauce? That's actually a good question. Chick-fil-A sauce on fries. Big Mac sauce on sandwiches. Michael's never been ready to learn anything in his life. I learned a couple things once. No. You never did. It can if you steal from the drawer. Wow. What? It does if you manage a store. Sure, but you can't like start as a manager. Maybe you can't. Hot-blooded, check it and see. This is eight mana, so we're going to get five. One, two, three, four, five. Hot-blooded. Sure. You got it. Hot blooded, check it and see. Oh, that's a good text to get. What was it? Uh, it was from Jimmy the Mole. Oh wow. Oh wow. We still don't know how much makes though. Well, I guess I'll find out. Shadow Mage Infiltrator, say what? You're a savage infiltrator. That's I didn't say savage because that's not a card. Do what now? Oh, Jesus. He's got brain damage. Do what now? You think they got a mana leak, Michael? I really hope they don't, but they probably do. <coughs> Last card. Let's see it. <gasps> nice. That's good. Last time it's Burger King, they were selling two for one. I eat six. Mark, happy birthday, buddy. I hope your birthday's going all right, my dude. Six? Oh, I see. Well, that's a thing. Too bad you didn't save it, though. You ate six Whoppers? Dude, I can't even do that. That's insane. Where do you say Whoppers? Well, two for one, so I assume he's talking about the Whopper deal. He could not be, though. Burger King has two for one Whoppers? Oh no, they have two for <laughs> like two for what six. the fuck are you talking? Wow, two two whoppers for a dollar, Michael. Good lord, that's a deal. They've probably done that once before. One two, they've never done that, Michael. Impossible yes. whoppers are good. Yeah, I actually, even though I'm uh, a meat eater, I actually prefer the impossible whoppers. They make them crispier. And they, they do make better. them crispier. Yeah, they taste better actually. Oh, I can't keep regenerate up for this for this Kudgy. So I don't like it. What if they made a magic card called Banana Leak and it only countered Tassiger? Wow. Could it also counter Dramo uh Silumgar? You know why I like Curlit? Why? Because if it's his wisdom he imparts. He's too pure for this world. How have I enjoyed this popper cube compared to other cubes? I mean, this is the first the first like, this is literally played. the first match in the first cube I've done so I can't really say yet I wish they had impossible draw cards, burgers burgers cards again. so they draw one and discard one with ancient that, I also wish they had dude I my biggest wish is that they had some sort of meat alternative at five guys I love five guys and I wish they don't they, they had the veggie stuff right so yeah they just different. have a veggie they have a veggie with cheese which is just all vegetables and some cheese which is good I enjoy it also you think like you think like impossible burgers are like popular enough you think they want to invest in them I can't wait till McDonald's has them so I can get a Big Mac with fucking Beyond or Impossible yeah, that'd be sweet I know I'm just I just want a Big Mac yeah cause even when places in, like what's it called impersonate a Big Mac it's never quite right it's never the Whoa. grilled cheese and in and out is good too Oh, finally, I can close the app. Jesus. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, glad to hear it, buddy. I made some amazing burgers tonight. I mixed some butter into the ground beef. God, that's so American. 
I mix some butter into my mouth. They called me Old Butter Mouth. Old Butter Mouth. <laughs> That's just my name, Michael. I don't know what to tell you, man. Old Butter Mouth doesn't know what to tell you. Did you just burp and fart at the same time? I didn't fart at all. Yeah, I know. That's what I'd say, too. Tell them, Michael. Tell them about Big Butter. Big Butter buttered my biscuits, and I was at the butter factory, and then they... I slid all the way out because it went down the butter sheet. <laughs> Man, my heart's so slick in that clip. Yeah, and your eyes are so big. <laughs> Michael slid down the butter chute, guys. This is peasant cube. Oh shit! It does say pop. It does say popper. My bad. A double pipe classic? I don't even know what that means. Are you guys talking about Mike sliding down the butter chute again? Yeah, Culver's makes a pretty decent burger. Yeah, Culver's makes a... I hate you. No, you don't. I fucking hate you so much. No, you don't. You think, you think it's love, but it's actually just hate. It's love. Is this love do, 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 that I'm feeling that I've been searching for? Scoobity boop. Man, being able to discard a land for compulsive research and still play Golgari Rot Farm to net two more lands. Maybe two of you considered buying more accessories for the stream, like funny glasses or costumes? No, just because we don't even use the ones we have now. Yep. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff we don't Sometimes need. it's just like, I just want to stream and not have to... I don't want to be your puppet, guys. No, well, I'm just kidding, I'll when, be your puppet. Also, when we move, we'll probably take that stuff out. You know, it's kind of like just sitting in random places. What are you talking about? Your glasses are right in front of you. Yeah, but there's not the pepper hat. We don't got the green I never had mask. the pe The pepper hat, like... That shit's just in my desk. It's right here. I want to check my butter shoot on my butter ranch chicken sandwich hat. What's my impression of Michael B? That's the impression that Mike B. Can't play land here? That's stupid. Oh, that's a good one. It's not a face. Are they going to daze this thing? Yeah, I don't think so. Do you remember Shaq and the Fooshnickens? I have no idea what that is. Really? No. What if I was like... What up, Golden Goose? Shrek and the Foo. She's killing me on Foo Schnickens. Foo Schnickens were an American hip-hop trio from 1988 to 1995. I've never heard of them. <laughs> you don't know anything about hip-hop. Sorry, I don't know literally every hip hop group. Well, I know it's no way more hip hop than you do. Did you really boss stones yourself in third person? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> have you ever been close to? Did you call them boss stones? I've been close to those who have. Yeah, you know, I was reading the the quote or the the message. Did you mean boss tones, not boss stones? Maybe. <laughs> Golden Goose, by the way, nice job on the uh, on placing in that one poker tournament. If you if you were, if it was a Yu Gi Oh tournament, you could say you topped. You could say that anyway, I guess. I guess. Also, Golden Goose, what did you finish? Was it third, first, or second? I'm just curious. He's just curious. He's just a little curious. Hey man, it happens. I also scrubbed out with aces the other night. Me too. I scrub out with aces every day, boy. Well, then, well, clearly, because by the way you draw lands, I believe it. Powder glass. You know that. You know that job. That powder glass. I invented that job. Oh. So you could just say yes. You don't have to be a dickhole about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana.
Oh, the glasses, you say? I think we can arrange that. Powder glasses? Seeing a band live and them not playing your favorite song. <laughs> See, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. Split top, too. Nice. I had a split top. I'm usually a fan of splitting. It's usually not worth playing it out for a couple extra bucks. They're called bones, Michael. A couple extra bones. Mike, show us your sternum. I think this is against Twitch terms of service. Michael, that's what the powder glass is good for. You understand? It's good for the sternum. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Did you know that? I didn't know that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ho, ho, ho. You're a ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. You're a ho, ho. Let's go after that. Shmealy. Run the Jewels put out their fourth album today. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Well... It's because you don't know anything about hip-hop, Michael. I'll give that a listen. No, you won't. Yeah, well, Mitch. Don't lie. To, don't lie about Don't try to impress Run the Jewels. They're not watching right now, man. I'm not trying to impress anybody. <sighs> I you just want to hear their music. Michael, you know what you're doing. That's the impression that Mike gets. I'm scared of this cube because I see planeswalkers and peasant. What does that mean? I mean, that's true. There are uncommon planeswalkers. Oh, you want to take a trip down to the seaside citadel? Can you wear those glasses on your Zoom interview tomorrow or on Friday? Oh, wow. <laughs> That would be epic. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if it'd be funny enough that they would like... That would be hilarious if you actually answered the call with those on. It's a joke. Yeah, I would think I would hire you on the spot because I'd be like, this dude's got a sense of humor. Yeah, but on the one chance they're offended by it. Ask Jimmy what he thinks. Jimmy, what do you think? You can message us or you can you can just respond on the stream. <laughs> uh, I updated it to, play, to say peasant, so it should say peasant cube now, guys. You guys can try refreshing the page if you like. Yeah, you might have to refresh the page. What are they looking for? What do you think they're looking for, man? What does this do? One image to each creature without flying in each player. <coughs> well, we're countering that. Because otherwise you just kill like three of my dudes. Surveil one. Graveyard. Although I do think it it might be funny enough to actually get you some points. I agree. This is what I'm saying. It would make you stand out for sure. Oh yeah, you'd definitely be like they'd be like, this is the guy. We need this guy. At our branch. Branch him and ranch him. Are you nervous for the interview? How are you prepare? No, I'm actually surprisingly decent in interviews. <laughs> Nothing never stops bragging, dude. <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. Also, it's a customer service job. I have so much experience. There's no question they're going to throw at me that I wouldn't know. Wow. It's like it was a brag of, in, within a brag. That's true, actually. That was a bit of a brag. <laughs> There's nothing I won't know, guys. <laughs> Get him. Kill your Saili. I will treat you with my coiling oracle. They hired me with only restaurant experience. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna nail it then. I'm a customer. Can you service me, Mike? Wow. Yikes. But answer the question, man. Can you? Yeah. Oh, that's inappropriate. If they're like, what's on your face? You could be like, oh, these are my prescription glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Mike B., what's your biggest weakness? That is one of the most annoying interview questions of all time. Talking out loud. I usually tell them that I uh, tend to overthink things sometimes, but then I switch around by saying like, but that can also be a good thing when trying to problem solve. Well, don't, you don't have to say that. They know. They'll be able to tell. 
There's usually my answer to that question, though. Like I read somewhere that there's like a fine. really good answer to that question that kind of like totally makes that question useless, but I forget what it is. God, I just hope we don't have fucking days. Oh, you got days in here, I guess. I guess we're good. Oh, give me that. Give me the chomp on. I didn't know if you asked me once, what's your second biggest weakness? Wow. What a jerk. I'd be like, I have a really hard time answering weakness questions. What's your third biggest weakness? What's your fourth biggest weakness? <laughs> List your top ten weaknesses. I'd be like, God damn. <coughs> this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Mike's biggest weakness is going down the butter chute with a biscuit factory. Yeah, they're like, here's like, we have a question for you, Michael. What's your second biggest weakness? And you're like, oh shit, I, I had my first biggest weakness, but I, you know, I don't know my second one. It's really weird that you let off with the second one. This sounds like the interview is trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clark Kent, I see. What is your biggest weakness, <laughs> would you say? Hey, wait a minute. Why were you Skeletor? I was just that's just how I interview, man. <laughs> so you're saying when you interviewed yes, for the I, Bethesda, you did that the whole time? Yes, I was like, Pete Hines, listen to me. Man, no wonder why they wanted to give you the job. They're like, this guy's really committed to the skeleton. Why are they blocking the two two instead of the seven seven? Oh, because they're gonna kill the seven seven somehow. <coughs> that checks out. According to the stream, his biggest weakness is talking in different accents while wow. <laughs> that is the yeah that's... you should send them affinity clips as samples of your good work oh give me the beach one two three four five six seven so we can just play oh there's the god save your mom she's a prostitute one two three uh, I want to keep black up nope Seed Guardian. What do we got? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten lethal, exactly lethal on board. Sounds good. Hey, Jimmy, since I got you on the line, as it were, I was curious, do they have any, like, non, like, more traditional office roles that I could move into? Like, stuff that involves not talking on the phone? Do they have any non? <laughs> I really like Indian it's food. It's delicious. Can you give me that Indian Like, email food? stuff or chat support or billing? My guy hasn't even got the job yet, and he's already looking for promotions. Unbelievable. Well, I'll be honest, man. I'm kind of sick of being on phones, so I want to get off the phone as soon as possible. Well, maybe you should get your college degree, Michael. Did you ever think about that? I would have, except for I'm stupid, and I didn't finish it because I have nine credits left. Like a real dummy. There's actually plenty of jobs I saw that was like, I would be perfect for, but they were like, need to have at least an associate or a bachelor's. And I was like, oh, if only I had finished that. Man. It's like that was a bad decision or something. God. They got any openings as CEO or a board position? <laughs> you got any uh you got any management positions that I could slide into? I have a degree, it doesn't get you off the phone. That's crazy. Where do you work? Isn't or what is your job? People still need to talk on the phone, Michael. Well yeah, doing extent, but I mean like a job where you're constantly on the phone. That's what I mean. I don't mean like you had yeah, sure, of course you're gonna have to make phone calls sometimes in the office because that's just how it works, but There are some reps who only do emails, but get on the phone when the volume is high. Hmm. I do that. I like a good email. I can't read that, but I, that's a good image. <laughs> Give me the meatball, me back so he wants to get off the telephone. <laughs> NBC uh -huh. what I love about this job and two jobs ago when I was doing fraud analysis where I'm just like frog analysis frog analysis frog, frog analysis, analysis. Um, analyze those frogs Michael just all day I basically just grind out data entry like his jobs and listen to music and you know that kind of stuff grind I much prefer those kind of jobs where you can just kind of zone out and do your work and get it done with oh, 
Fuck, dude. So bad. Once you're there a bit, you can apply to other departments that mainly do outbound calls. Oh, gross. I hate outbound calls. Those are even worse. Would have loved a green source here. She being a little whacker. A whackeroo. Now, have call centers changed with COVID? I don't know. I haven't actually worked in a call center since last Ooh, year. So. Baby biscuits. I mean, technically, there's a call center where I am, but I didn't work that part of it. Okay, you don't have to brag about it, Michael. <coughs> Mike, will you send Jimmy a gift for helping you get a job? Uh, the gift of the bonus he'll get for me being there long enough. I also might send him a nice chocolate orange. What are you saying right now? You're going to send anybody a chocolate orange? I might. Man, you ain't never going to do that. Yeah, you're right. Fucking lying chocolate <laughs> orange piece of shit. I'll send little Jimmy a chocolate orange. I've never had a chocolate orange. I'm curious. They're pretty good. Oh, wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage, huh? That's pretty good. Mike B, did you, uh, a Jin comes out of a bottle and says you can have any job and money won't be an issue. What do you want to do? Mike loves it when Jin comes out of the bottle. Uh, I can have any job. Fucking garbage, man. <laughs> Wow. Um, oh, Warhammer again. Fuck, I keep forgetting. Hmm. I guess my dream job is actually just playing poker for a living. I mean, like losing for a living? It's wild. <laughs> I didn't say I was good enough to do it yet, Frank. Wow, that's good. Shit, but I guess. Cool. Super cool hands. I actually love to keep my current job if it paid more and I could. It would always be from home. Although my company did say they were considering letting people stay at home as long as they want if their stats aren't affected, which I guess in theory mine would be good enough. So your dream job is working at Conservice? No. I don't buy that shit. No, it's not, but it's just like something I could think of that I wouldn't mind doing. Well, if you can't, if you can't even think of a dream job off the top of your head, man, well, I you just... have not given your life enough enough consideration. I love your art for a living too. I just don't think I'm good enough. You say you're not good enough at all these things, but like you could get better at art. You just have to do it. That's true. I mean, no one's stopping you. That's also true. I guess we're just dead because we could not draw lands. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede here. What was this disc draw discard? I can't see. Get this guy out of the way. Nope, just draw a card. Yeah, don't. Yeah, good good game me after I get land screwed two games in a row. Okay. I think paleontology digging up bones would be sweet. <laughs> you don't then even I need a sell, degree for that. Then I can sell sh shark teeth to Frank. Yeah, I'd be your number one customer. Uh, not like paleontologists have customers. Or that they just sell what they find. You're a hero to many. Wow. I know. Not to be too real, but the thing stopping him is probably that he also has to work for a living. It's hard to self-improve when you got to pay rent. That's true, but people do it. Like you No, just that's gotta... not true, dude. Fucking that's that's a bullshit excuse that people make. When Mike gets off work at 4 o'clock, he has 8 hours between 4 and when he goes to bed at midnight to do whatever the fuck he wants. Like, and everyone does. That's true. You can't be like, well, I work 8 hours a day, so I don't have time to do anything. That's That's a terrible excuse that people use all the time. You could literally take two to three hours a night for yourself, work on a web page, write something, do art. You could do anything. You have so much time, but people just like minimize the amount of time they have. They're like, well, I work till four. What can I do? What can I possibly do? 
No, I mean, you, I, I think if you start looking at your time and prioritizing the things that you really want to do, like you want to watch Netflix for, for three hours. You want to search the web for two hours. You want to, I mean. Yeah, you've got to make your, the thing you're not making money at yet, your secondary job that doesn't pay, basically. Correct. Are you going to counter this? Are you going to counter my dry it? Sure, you got it. God, every deck plays counter spells in this format. Yeah, go work on self-improvement. That's for sure. Also, something like a stream you can definitely put on in the background while doing other things. But I'm not even saying, like, stop. I'm not saying stop doing things you enjoy. I'm not saying stop watch Netflix, stop watching YouTube, stop watching streams. I'm saying Just don't fucking make... No, I'm yeah. saying don't fucking make excuses about it. Don't watch a stream for three hours or watch Netflix for two hours and then be like, oh, I didn't have time. Where do I find the time to do these things? You have plenty of time. You're just not doing them. You got to kind of treat it like a real job and set aside time for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to be like, don't li don't won't watch my stream. Don't listen to, to podcasts. Do that. Definitely for sure. But, you know, just don't cry about it. When you're like, I just don't know where I'll find the time. Man, I didn't even have a second blue. And that dude's like, I'm going to take it. And I'm like, okay, bro. You take it. Hey, man, what you know about the River, river Popo? Thank you. He loves the Hopo. <clears throat> what? He loves the Hopo. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's like no different than like working out or... Right, but Mark, the difference is you're waking up at four and, wor and working till ten, right? Like that only leaves you six hours, right? I'm not saying like your situation is different. I'm talking about Mike. Like wakes up at seven or eight, seven thirty ish. I wake up at like seven twenty five is usually when I roll out of bed and clock in. You know, and then he then he goes to work and then uh, work till four p.m. Yeah, and then he's off. To be fair today, I was putting in more applications, so I was actually doing something productive. Right, but that's fine. I'm not. I'm not criticizing you for not being productive. I'm just saying, don't make it like not even you. I don't think you were making it, but people in chat like don't make the excuse to like, where do I find the time? For oh this? yeah, sure. That's a bad. That's a bad mindset. Like if you're just sitting on the couch watching episodes of of a TV show, and you're like, well, I can't. I just don't know where I'll find the time. All right, well, that's cool. You or like land. do it on the weekends or something. Like devote eight hours a day on a weekend to, to improve whatever your thing is or something like that. Or Yeah, and again, like no no harm no harm to anyone who like watches Netflix or watches YouTube. I watch a ton of YouTube and a ton of Netflix. But I'm not bemoaning the the lack of time that I have either. Like I know exactly how much time I have. Well, that's cool. Just steal all my shit. Got agent of treachery dot deck over here. Oh yeah, there's definitely exceptions where some people like if you work two jobs, you really actually don't have the time. Like sure, but or if you're like in a field like a really competitive or crazy field like Katie, where you're putting in so many hours that you really don't actually have that much time to yourself. That's different. But at the same time, those are also jobs that like, but that's those also are your, she's also doing her dream, right? Like, she, right. Exactly. That yeah. is her job, right. right? Like she's not like, man, I wish I had time to, to, to be this other kind of, to be an astronaut, but I'm too busy being a doctor, right? Like, her, right. Her, yeah, yeah. Cool. They just fucking took all of my things. Sounds good. What I mean is there's definitely jobs where it, it's definitely harder because you work more hours but that's one of those things where, like, usually those jobs, there's a reason why you're doing that, and those are kind of working towards your goal of becoming what you want to do, right? Or unless you're just working a job where there's a bunch of OT and you just want to make extra money. But that's one of those things where, like, in a case like that, you just got to sacrifice some OT to do your other thing. Hey, don't minimize my TV watching. It's the only thing I got to curl it. <laughs> I think you're doing just fine, buddy. I, I didn't, buddy. That's the point. You can watch as much TV as you want because you have a successful career that you're satisfied with. Right. The, the problem is, like, if Kurt was, like, sitting around being like, man, I wish I could get a better job. There's nothing I could do. And then he's like, better put on the TV. And, you know, like, that's the point where you're like, okay, but you're not really trying at all. So. And physical jobs make it harder for extra. That's true. Sure. Something like construction work is definitely harder on the body. More tired. I mean, anybody said it's easy. 
but like even if you're not working a physical job like uh, office jobs if you work long hours like let's say you work a 12 hour shift or something that's definitely there's definitely exhausting too how many people actually watch legit TV anymore like cable television who actually does that anymore my parents yeah old people sure literally old people are like I don't want to get rid of cable I like watching ABC Boo -doo -doo. cable just seems like such a waste people with kids I swear if I have kids the last thing I want to do is fucking pay for cable that's I watch insane. it for sports oh sure yeah that makes sense I mean I would just watch, I would just put on like that Netflix or YouTube or something like there's plenty of kids shows on those oh yeah you don't yeah you can I'm pretty sure there's also like Disney Plus streaming stuff, and there's also yeah. I mean, I'm pretty I, sure Nickelodeon I think has having to have service too. Cable is pretty, or pretty or crazy. Oh yeah, give me that blue. I'm pretty sure cable itself, like actual cable, is dying. Give me that blue. Well, that's kind of like me in blue, right? I used to work 80 plus hours a week with two kids, one with special needs. Hence why I went to an office job. Oh, wow. 80 hours a week is pretty rough. Do I just slam this guy and hope they don't have anything? No, we're probably going to keep a Mistaku. A frill the Mistaku. I love food shows, but even food shows I can just find on YouTube. Like, yeah. I can watch any Gordon Ramsay show. You got British Baking Show, which is so entertaining on, on Netflix. Also, thanks to Torrance. <laughs> you can find it all. Yeah, your friend William Torrance. That yeah. guy's always real helpful, man. Some of the problems with being a manager of a store, if somebody doesn't show up, I can't find someone else to cover. That's me. So during my days off, even if I have to be ready to cover just in case, makes finding extra time when I know I'll be able to work or some on some something rare yeah i mean being a manager of store is definitely different again it's one of those things where like you have to show up to work even when you don't want to maybe you god you said so much maybe you do god got him I'm sure we in college. Like, college is your second job. That's that's another different thing. Like, usually you go to college to try to get to do the thing that you really want to do. Oh, wow. What is happening right now? <laughs> sure. Also, YouTube ads suck now. I mean, that's how they got to make money, man. There's no way around it. Ads. Unless We're you pay for the slam premium. this dude. What is someone saying about ads? That YouTube ads suck. I mean... You gotta make money, man. What are you gonna do? Also, can't you pay for premium for no ads? Maybe you can. Oh, my God. I said it again! It's fucking exhausting. I gotta where, go, guys. Where are you gonna go? I can't I can't take it anymore. Where are you gonna go, Michael? To the trash can. <laughs> I am dead inside. That's Michael. He's dead inside. Watered down Netflix? What does that even mean? We watched the first three episodes of the Jeffrey Epstein show, the new Jeffrey Epstein uh, documentary on Netflix last night, and Jesus Christ. It's very well done, but it is hard to watch. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so much worse than I knew. Yeah, I thought it was like 10 or 15 girls. Turns out it's like 60 plus. You think they got another sacrifice effect? Nope. Well, we're going to play like a bunch of I'm not going back to college, time. Mike. Uh, I actually do plan to go back to college once I uh, get my student loans out of default, which I am paying back. It'll take me another couple months to do. I'm giving them like just shy of 70 a month to get my loans out of default, and then I can re-up my loans and go back. He's never going to do that. Wow. He just doesn't believe in school. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. This leaves us with... You want to see my seed guardian, Michael? 
Sure. It's right here. Okay. Nice. Is that its mouth? <laughs> what is that thing in the middle? I think it is his mouth. Those are the teeth, right? They do look like teeth. But it Why seems is it so low? low? Yeah, I'm like, that's your chest mouth? It's probably good for the sternum, you know? Make it big. Make it big. Big it. All right. Bigify it. Yeah, big it's probably not the right word to use. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks like a mouth. It's just real low. Yeah, I think that is a mouth. I don't know what else that would be. It kind of smells like greater than exile. Oh, they're going to cast the mouth. It's the butthole, wow. <laughs> is it the butthole? Three, four, five. <laughs> hmm. I'm telling you, Mike B, we need to get you into a software developer program. Well, you have to have a degree for that. Maybe you do. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I love to work in a field like that, though. I really enjoy stuff like that. Oh, man, I just could eat this dude? Sure. Sometimes I just play this as a 2 2. You know what? I'm going to do it. What did you study the first time, Mike? Uh, mainly just uh, all general classes for like your AA. I took a couple art classes and a couple more math classes geared toward engineering. Originally, I had planned to be in electrical engineering, although if I go back, I probably wouldn't choose that just because uh, it doesn't pay that great for engineering. Yeah, Mike needs to get that 13 bones an hour. <laughs> no, but like going to school for like, you know, four to six years and then only making 50k out of it, it's not that great. That's usually what electrical engineers start at. Is that uh, is that about when you cry over it? Yeah. Yeah. So if we just put the thing on this guy. The computer fat is over? What are you talking about? Everyone's hiring for software stuff. That's insane. One of those nights. Also, just when you mean computer, maybe you mean like a desktop computer, but everything is run off a computer, whether that be tablets, phones, laptops. Everything is a computer these days. Mike, did you smoke in the bathroom during school breaks? Every day. Smoking in the boys' room. Every day? God, no wonder here. A hot mess right now. That is the most inner insane statement ever i think you're i was kidding well if you don't use cap it's hard no it was very obvious i don't know man we have people come in this chat and say some pretty ridiculous stuff so i never really know sometimes you know now it's vaping in the boys room vaping in the boys room it's true vape nice y'all Elf man. Hope I can get... They're going to Christianer's Edict us. Cool. Hope, oh man. You okay, man? Hmm? Are you okay? No. Oh, it sucks, dude. I'm so sorry about your life. Elon says we will be communicating without speaking in less than 10 years. I don't know. That guy's been pretty crazy lately, so... Sure. See you later, Kazmina. I'll miss you. Also, 10 years seems a little early for that. Oh, that was a great draw. <laughs> Every turn, I'm going to draw some lands. What you going to do about that, throw hands? What does this do? Remove a brick counter. Draw a card. It's not great. Really? You have to draw three cards? It's slow, though. Mm, okay. That might be good enough for this format. No, don't say it. Don't, don't even do it. Don't even do it. What are you going to say? What was I going to say, Michael? Elon Musk will be inside us all in 10 years. Oh, wow. God. <laughs> Jesus. It's getting real intimate. 
Elon Musk will be inside of you, Michael. <laughs> I was actually, I didn't cast this on my turn because I was afraid of days, but now I'm at a point where I'm just like, Mike, if you had to get a four-letter word tattooed on your fist, what would it be? Nugs. Not close. With a Z. Hugs, not nugs, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I'll put hugs, not... Oh, that's not... That's too much. Ah, I need an extra finger. Sorry, you can't have one. You want to give me one? I Guys, mean, what if I get, like, nugs on my chest like this? Or on my belly? <laughs> like, thug life, but it says nug life? What if it's made of nugs? What if the words are made of nugs? Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. That's your life I have right a nice now. belly for it, too, you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, because it would go over the, the, yeah, the it's belly. Yeah, like the hump, you know? The, the hump. hump. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Paul Cheon, who was also the hump. I wish I had a way to kill that, because you killed mine, so now I want to kill yours. Yeah, I would actually hate to have telepathy. I think that would be a curse. Sure, there'd be some upside to it, but... Look at all the cards I'm drawing. I'm basically the best. Well, Nug Life is the tattoo to all, end all tattoos. <laughs> Bro, how do you be an, an active hooter? I couldn't tell you. Or ho Hopper? Is it Hopper? Hopper? Hippie? Hippity zibbity? I think he's, zibbity having, zibbity he's zibbity fucking bop. legit having a stroke right now. I do want to get a tattoo at some point. I've always wanted one. I just never saved for one. I'm not sure you have a nice belly, Mike B. Show us your belly so we can check. <laughs> Why does everyone want to see this? Oh, Shadow Mage Infiltrate. Tattoos on Mutual? You don't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley, do you? Boy, if you think I'm a Bentley... Oh, got to do the other way. Yeah, I really want to get my super nerdy tattoo. You're going to kill this guy? You're going to scry? Sure. What's your super nerdy tattoo? Not the nugs? Is it, an, is it a Naruto character? No. it's a, That's a your favorite show, though. No, it's the Foxhound symbol. That is not my favorite show. You fucking talk about it all the time. You're like, I love I, Rock Lee. I think... <laughs> that's my. It's like... You, I think Naruto Shippuden... The second series is actually very good, but I would definitely not consider it my favorite. Show Putin, show Putin, the Michael's gonna jump. Skimming up and down in the Michael B. You know that song, you know the Shaboopy bit from Family Guy? Starbucks? No, Foxhound from yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Not even listening. I don't even care about my story. Well, I didn't care because it was stupid. I knew it was stupid. I heard you say it and it was something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> You're stupid, Michael. You I think Naruto was great too. You love the but I, would, I, I don't like it enough to get a tattoo of it. You in there, you in there. I don't want to, I don't think I want you to quad block here. Frank almost forgot, showed my daughter the YouTube replay from yesterday. She said thank you for the, uh, for the That's awesome. congrats you sent. That's awesome. Nice. Maybe the Nug tattoo should be a tramp stamp. Wow. Oh, mm -hmm. Castlevania is very, very good. That is. That is definitely one of the better made Western animations out there. I've been really impressed with the first three seasons. See, now we're just, now our opponent's just dead, right? I got an original copy of Metal Gear from the MVS signed by Kojima. He looked at it and left. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklinport, patreon.com slash franklinport. And if you're looking for an awesome subscription service for Magic Online, if you want to borrow cards for modern, pioneer, legacy, vintage, whatever... Check out manatraders.com. You can use the promo code RATTRAIN, no space, to get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Manatraders.com. Link is down below. Use the promo code RATTRAIN, and you'll get 20% off. Also, me and Rob recorded an episode of Freshly Brewed. So let me know what you guys think about that. You can find that at the link 
in the chat. And we won the game. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out Freshly Brewed. The, re the, re the Redux. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.